The tide will carry its first passengers on Friday. Hampton Roads Transit is putting the finishing touches on this $300 million plus project. And then on your sides, Ava Hurdle joins us now from Norfolk tonight at the start of the line. Heard so much about this. We're almost there, Ava. That's right, Tom and Nicole. We're at the Eastern Virginia Medical Center, and this is the start of the line, and it's also where they put the finishing touches on landscaping and signs, and prospective passengers are ready to ride the tide. A new sign when flashing in the westbound lane of Interstate 264 alerts drivers to the presence of light rail at the Ballantyne Boulevard exit. You can hear it as it rides along the downtown Norfolk streets. Ed Davidson plans to board the train but <laughs> has do, a question. I, I, do, I don't know what the fares are yet. Uh, I, be, I think I know basically the route. Let me show you how this works. We turn to HRT's Tom Holden for answers. I'm going to select a one ride validated path. Put in a dollar here. Here's my ticket. One dollar and fifty cents worth of ticket. Here's my chain. It's my ticket and here's my train. The cost to ride the train is $1.50 per trip. The tide goes from the Eastern Virginia Medical Center station, where we're standing now, east to Newtown Road at the border with Virginia Beach. Another prospective rider is Rob Warren. I know the fares. My only question is why does it go further than it does? But I understand it's a starter line. Expansion is a possibility, according to Holden. This is the project that we have now. And this is what's in the ground and in place today. Uh, as many people do know, there is a study that's on hold in Virginia Beach. Meantime, tickets go on sale Friday morning at the station platforms. And Tide Guides will be at those platforms to assist passengers beginning on Friday. But if you'd like more information on the Tide, go to our website, wavy.com. We're live in Norfolk, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side. And starting at 6 a.m. Saturday, Bank Street will be closed from Plume Street to City Hall Avenue for light rail opening festivities. The street will reopen at around 7 that night. You'll find special coverage of the Tide on wavy.com. We posted a history of light rail, 10 of your side's reports on the project dating back to 1999, safety information, and a link to the Ride the Tide light rail website.